Thank you for choosing Crane Composites FRP wall panels. Because Crane Composites panels are durable and easy to clean, they will last a long time when installed correctly. This video is intended to guide you through the basic steps necessary to ensure a satisfactory installation. Before you begin your installation, please take the time to prepare your walls and panels and read the installation guide. Our installation guides are available at cranecomposites.com forward slash install. For your own safety, you need to wear safety glasses and mechanical gloves and a filter mask when cutting or drilling panels. Hearing protection is also recommended. Needed supplies will vary depending on the wall substrate, adhesive choice, and seam treatment selection. Crane offers two types of adhesive, Crane Advanced Polymer for most installations and Crane Fast Grab for drywall and plywood installations. For more information on Crane adhesives and where to use adhesive, see Form 7657 at cranecomposites.com forward slash resource center. After you select your adhesive based on your wall substrate, for example, a porous or a non-porous installation, you will choose your seam treatment option. Crane Composites offers several seam treatment options including our standard moldings for glassboard and sequential wall panels, silhouette trims for designs and Varietex wall panels, seam sealant for installations without moldings, a beaded molding for our Varietex beaded wall panels, aluminum trims for a contrasting look with our designs and Varietex wall panels, and wide moldings for our Kemply laminated wall panels. Now that you have your adhesive and seam treatment selected, you can gather all needed supplies and equipment. Contact your local distributor to order panels, adhesive, seam treatments, and select tools. For best results, utilize crane installation tools including a V-notch trowel, of 3 16th inch by 1 quarter inch by 5 16th inch and a laminate roller. To find a distributor closest to you, visit cranecomposites.com forward slash distributors. You will need additional supplies and equipment, including a circular saw, drill, and cleaning supplies. Before beginning the installation, the installer must verify that the environment of the job site meets or exceeds all requirements that are listed in the installation guide. Panels should be stored indoors on a solid, flat, dry surface other than the floor. Installation should not begin until the building is enclosed, including the windows and doors installed. The installation temperature should be 60 to 75 degrees Fahrenheit and a relative humidity range of 35 to 55 percent. The panel should be allowed to acclimate for 24 hours in the temperature and humidity which will be the normal working conditions of the room. Make sure all the panels are inspected prior to installation for color consistency and ensure there is no damage or surface issues. Please contact Crane Composites if there are any issues with the quality of the panels before installation. Walls should be flat and level. Remove high spots and fill in low spots prior to installation. Remove any foreign matter and make sure the wall is dry and free from dirt, dust, and grease. See the installation guide for suggestions on installations on unique surfaces or environments. In some cases, it is recommended to test surface bonding to the wall or substrate before beginning large installations. Now it's time to think about panel placement and positioning. Crane Composites does not recommend installing panels more than 12 feet long. Panels more than 12 feet long will be more difficult to install and may lead to installation errors and improper spacing between panels. On walls more than 12 feet high, use an 8 foot panel on the bottom and then use another panel of proper height on top, not to exceed 8 feet in length per panel. FRP panels have expansion characteristics due to changes in humidity and temperature. 
Proper spacing between panels is key to a good installation and allows for expansion and contraction of the panels. Proper spacing is needed around panel edges and around fixtures attached to the wall panel. A minimum of one quarter inch is needed at the top and bottom and one eighth inch gap between panels. Panels larger than four feet by eight feet will require additional spacing. Check the installation guide for specific joint recommendations. All cutting and ripping should be done prior to the application of adhesive. Utilize a circular saw with a carbide blade to cut the panel. When cutting, position the panel so that the saw blade enters the back side of the panel first to avoid chipping and damage to the front surface. It is important to read the adhesive instructions prior to installation. Too little or too much adhesive is the primary installation error, which causes poor bonding to the substrate. Begin by spreading the adhesive evenly through the entire back of the panel. Spread the adhesive with a crane trowel by using a crosshatch pattern. Adhesive should extend to all edges of the panel. Place the panel in position and firmly push on the wall. Allow additional space at the bottom of the panel, and the bottom of the panel must not be locked in place because a flooring contractor will install a cove base later. Use a crane laminate roller to ensure all air pockets are removed between the panel and the wall to ensure a good bond between the panel and the wall. Apply even pressure beginning in the top corner adjacent to the previous panel to the opposite edge. Continue working down and across the panel. A team of installers should not work from top and bottom of the panel. This can create air pockets in the center of the panel. Adhesive residue may appear on the panels. Remove any adhesive residue upon completion of the job. When using crane fast grab adhesive, remove the adhesive with a non-abrasive cloth and warm water. When using crane advanced polymer adhesive, removal with mineral spirits or acetone is recommended. Cleanup should be done within 20 minutes after installation. Depending on the seam treatment selection, panels are either installed in sequence with the seam treatment or panels are installed independently. When using moldings, panels and moldings are installed in sequence. When using seam sealant, all panels are installed prior to the seam treatment. The installed panels need to be adhered at least six hours prior to applying the seam sealant. Crane moldings include an expansion control guide to assist with the expansion gap. Panels are inserted into the panel opening. Slide the next panel into the division bar. When installing Varietech scored panels, create a level line of the highest area of the floor to align the horizontal lines. For installations without moldings, install all panels first and allow at least six hours cure time before applying the seam sealant. The seams need to be clean and free of any dirt or adhesive. It is easiest to remove debris with a sharp edge screwdriver or flat blade prior to installing the seam sealant. Apply painter's tape on each side of the seam. The tape needs to be applied as close to the panel edge as possible without going over into the seam. Safety is important. Wear glasses, gloves, and protective clothing. Sealant may stain clothes or walls or floors or the work area. Prepare the seam sealant by removing the plastic nut from the outlet end and the metal retaining clip. Load the cartridge into the dispensing gun, ensuring that the plungers are lined up properly. To ensure that the sealant is mixed and dispensed at the proper ratio, the plungers need to be level Slowly advance the plungers until a small amount of material is equally dispensed. Then add the mixing tip 
and dispense a small bead of material. The seam sealant is now ready for use. The seam sealant has an approximate open time of 3 to 5 minutes. The sealant applied must be completed within 3 minutes of the initial purge through the mixing tip. Refer to the time chart for more information. New tips will need to be used if the sealant exceeds the open time of 3 to 5 minutes. All vertical seams should be processed first. The seams need to be completely filled. After the sealant is dispensed, smooth the sealant flush with the panel surface. Smoothing the sealant must occur within the open time of the sealant. Remove the painter's tape from the panels and remove any excess sealant on panels with a solvent dampened rag. Inside corners are done similarly to the vertical seam. To smooth the sealant, use a radial finisher tool to round the corner joints. The room is now done and looks great. You can rest assured knowing it will continue to look great through years to come. If you have any questions or need additional support, please contact Crane Composites at 1-800-435-0080 or sales at cranecomposites.com.